has been an awakening. Have you felt it? It's conspiracy hat time. How you get so big to do food of this kind? As we get closer and closer to The Last Jedi, it's time for the conspiracies to awaken. The Imperial propaganda machine released the film known as Rogue One to keep us focused on the rebellion instead of the resistance. And at the heart of all of this is, is the villain with a thousand possible faces known as Supreme Leader Snoke. He has lit the internet on fire with possibilities, and it is time we hone in and figure out who he could actually be. So today, I'm going to bring you my theory, one of my many theories, on who this guy is. What we're not talking about. We're all focused on Snoke. Who's Snoke? Who could Snoke be? Who's Snoke's dry cleaner? Things that we do need to know, but none of us are, are, are considering th that... Our answer to Snoke could actually come from another character, Maz, Maz Kanata. This is a a woman filled with with mystery. H how did she get Luke's lightsaber? Who who are all the people there coming in and out? She she has she is a nexus of of resistance and First Order agents, all at her fingertips, and she's been there. She is been there for centuries upon centuries manipulating events and why why does she know who who snoke is you're criffin right she knows who snoke is why because the true sibling twin power couple of the star wars universe is not luke and leia it is maz and snoke as pointed out by many people on the internet you can see a doll of maz in Anakin Skywalker's childhood bedroom. How did it get there? Perhaps, perhaps, Maz was manipulating Anakin all along. She's been in this for the long game. How does he know everything? Because his sister is feeding him intel right from her palace. But the First Order destroyed Maz's palace. Why would he do that? To cover it up. They had finished Starkiller Base. They were going to destroy the Republic. They had to tie up loose ends. Destroying her palace was always, always in the plan. You think that they just happened to track the Millennium Falcon? You think that Kylo wasn't always tracking the Millennium Falcon? You, didn't, you don't think he didn't always know where that was? You, you don't think he was involved with putting the Millennium Falcon on there? No, no. That was always always part of the plan. He was going there that day to retrieve Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, which is why he is so livid that Rey has it. Think about it. Why does Snoke always communicate in, in a hologram? Yeah, sure, we saw Palpatine talk in in holograms too, and it's, you know, that's just how evil overlords talk, right? Wrong. That's what he's counting on you to think. That's what he wants you to think. No, no. That hologram, it's a Snoke screen. Think back. Think back to your early cinematic film training. What is one of the cornerstones in that? Yeah? Yeah? That's right. The Wizard of Oz. What if Snoke is, okay, not the Wizard of Oz, I'm not a nut, but what if it's like that? What if he's just a little man in the corner with smoke and mirrors making giant holographic Snoke? Think about it. Yeah, sure. Snoke is beat up and he's scarred. Or is he? No, no, no. Those could be just projections put onto his his base, his body. Look really closely at this too and tell me there's not some sort of semblance of family resemblance. There are serious questions we have to ask. The information we've been presented with it's all edited. It's all doctored. The the imperial security. You think the imperial security bureau would would just let this information be released in a majorly distributed studio film? No, no. But they can't erase everything. You can't erase the truth. If you would like to discuss this theory further, please join us at the link below. And before I go, the single most crucial piece of evidence in this is whoa 
that was awkward. Sorry, guys. I, <laughs> my, uh, my camera battery died. I bet you probably thought that was just Imperial interference or something, but it was nothing. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Move along. Cooking can be fun!